Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be showing you another project I've been working on here uh, besides uh, Gary Campbell's Moog restorations. Um, this is actually a Prophet 5 and this is actually the same Prophet 5 that I posted about a year ago going through all the presets and things. Um, this was Alex Kaufman's. And uh, so basically what ended up happening is he had some problems after I shipped it out. It was actually damaged in shipping. And what happened is, and it's a, it's what I'm about to say, I know a lot of people are probably going to get offended, but the Prophet 5 is a great synth. Don't get me wrong, but there is a huge design flaw on this synth. I mean, I'm talking about horrible. It's absolutely horrible design. And that is the power supply. This power supply is horrible. And uh, the reason I say that is for a couple of reasons. One, there is no uh, circuit protection. So if one of these things go out of regulation, it don't care. It's going to send that voltage out over the boards and it'll fry things and that's exactly what happened in this particular synthesizer. Um, what happened is, is in shipping, also something else I should mention too, is the way these heat uh, regulators were originally mounted was straight to this, this heat sink and you have to make sure it's isolation, you know, it's isolated from the chassis, which means you have to isolate it from the heat sink electronically using a, uh, using a seal pad and a sleeve on the screw that isolates everything and basically what that does, that just keeps this thing from having any kind of arm rating between the chassis and the part. And uh, so anyways, that's actually what happened in shipping. This power supply moved internally, slid off that pad, it shorted this guy to ground, blowing him out. But then what, what was really bad is that it came off ground and it allowed the voltage, uh, unregulated voltage, to go through his 5 volt line. And it blew out the uh, divider clock for our CPU. It took out a lot of other things I'm still going to have to investigate because I, I don't even want to power it up until I get this thing fixed. Um, but also with that said, there's some more design flaws um, that I need to bring to attention. And this is something that actually you could do and it's it's uh, you know it's actually going to help this thing out a lot, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Like I said, I hadn't tested this yet, but it's an idea. Um, what originally you had was this heat sink is really not being fully used, which is why you get so much heat. And I say that because if you've ever ran one of these and own one, you'll notice that parts of this heat sink will be hot and then parts of it will be kind of cool. It's not like it's being evenly used. And that's exactly what's happening. You, you mount these regulators and you'll have hot spots under the regulator locations, which you can see the 5 volts, it's pretty massive. It's got a lot more fins. So what I've done is I've actually cut the chassis underneath this heat sink, which you can't even tell from out here unless you look at these two screws right here, which are actually holding something in place. And what I have done is I've added a quarter inch of aluminum to the inside of this of, of this keyboard. And uh, basically my regulators be mounting here to this aluminum bar. And basically this aluminum bar serves two functions. One, it actually distributes the heat evenly over the whole heat sink. So now each regulator is going to be mounted at this, but it's going to actually just evenly out, it's going to even out the uh, the heat and allow this whole heat sink to be used as one one unit rather than just independent parts. What it's also going to do is it's going to change the way these regulators mount and that's going to help as well. And actually I'm still looking at design changes to this actual uh, actual supply because what happens also is that this power supply does not mount. It's actually held in place by two capacitors that fit inside these clamps and those can actually kind of shift a little bit. And if you're trying to keep these things isolated in, in vibration circumstances, these things don't always like that. So it's going to short out and cause problems. So basically this is a complete design change. I'm, I'm working on everything I can right now. But uh, right now I'm just mainly focusing on the, on the distributor, uh, distributor of heat. And uh, then I'm actually be adding TVS diodes, which is actually something I learned from the Polymoog is that you can actually add uh, voltage suppressors uh, to the outputs and what will happen is if if you have a spike or anything on one of these voltages those uh, TVS diodes will clamp down and it will be referenced to ground. So what will happen is when, when that shorts out or when one of these regulators go those will short out to ground and keep that voltage off your circuit boards. It will it'll burn out your regulator but that's okay because you can replace a, a regulator pretty cheap, I mean like 40 cents versus you know however much damage is done to your circuit boards. So just a few things there that I'm looking into redesigning. And um, 
basically this being my own profit it's going to be really nice I'm, I'm really you know, really happy to have this one because I do love the profit guys and like I said it's, it's not anything against the sounds or the profit 5 itself it's just against this whole power supply design it's just a really sucky design and uh, I'm finding ways to make it better and, and more stable and uh, run a lot cooler so you'll have a longer life but uh, anyways guys I just thought I'd share this and I'll have more updates as I go through this and uh, and I'm sure we'll uh, I'll take some measurements on temperature and everything to see what the big change is but uh, anyways guys you know this is something that can be done fairly easy if you know how to use a Dremel and uh, basically what you have to do is when you remove this this heat sink you'll see little cubby holes almost like where these regulators fit in and so what I did is I took a Dremel and I just cut those out of the chassis and then I mounted the aluminum, I drilled the aluminum mount and uh, mounted it to the heat sink with thermal compound and I uh, used two, two bolts to uh, hold it in place and then I got my holes for my regulators so anyways guys it's a pretty simple design I think it will actually save the life of uh, your Profit 5 and uh, I'm sure this is going to run a lot cooler Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll have more updates soon. Take care.